back anglers over here at Lake Mojave uh, it's a little bit different since the last time we were out here it's supposed to be a pretty windy compared to the last time we were here like I said up to 18 mile an hour winds you can already tell it's pretty windy out here but I wanted to get on more bass and just because it's a little bit windy doesn't mean we can't get can't get on some bass today so see if we can get on another small mouth out here maybe a striper a striper would be pretty cool haven't caught a striper so far this yet so far this year yet so that would be pretty sweet we're gonna test our luck So we're gonna kind of follow the same strategy as last time. We are gonna try to fish a jig. So that'll be a little bit different than the last time we were here. And I got that pretty much set to go. Let's put the plastic on. All right, let's see if we have any luck with this jig. The wind might definitely be a factor today. You know what, as much as I want to fish right here, I think just fishing with the wind is gonna be a little bit of a problem. So we're just gonna move to those points over there and just start from there. Try something else. Work the jig a little bit. Try to jerk bait on this point. See if I have any better luck. Damn it. Damn it. I was not expecting that. I got popped on the jerk bait. So I did a little weenie tug. It cost me a fish. I thought I just hit the rocks. All right. Well, 
The good news is I got a hit on the jerk bait here. So we're gonna toss the jig a little bit. And then maybe top toss a lipless. Yes, sir. Oh, this is a nice largie. Whoa, -ho. this might be my PB for a largemouth. Not gonna lie. Woo! He's about three pounds. All right, let's get you out of here, fella. <laughs> He's gone. Woo! That was a pretty nice largemouth. I haven't caught monster largemouths, but that one's pretty, pretty up there for me. So I'll take it. Dang it, on the lipless crank. <sighs> Cause he freaking jumped, jumped out of the water, popped off. Dang it, might have missed him. Might have to switch to a different presentation cause I might have just missed my fish here. Uh, sucks. Oh well. See if we can get him again. Should have probably thrown a med rig or something to follow up, but. Dang it. Try the Crawdad Z-Man Ned Rig. I'm on one. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. 
saw him jump? Yes, sir. It's a smallmouth. Take my time with them, take my time with them. Tire them out a little bit. Ooh, pretty nice one. Oh, he's pulling, he's pulling. Got him! Woo hoo! Small mouth. Yeah. Yes, sir. Small mouth. Woo! It was a grind to get this one for sure. Oh. He's gone. <laughs> If I could just get a striper, I'd get the trifecta. But we'll find out. But got on my Phoenix feather. Love this rod. And then Med Rig, Crawdad, Z Man. Let's see if we can get another one. We're nearly out of time over here, anglers. We're gonna fish one more spot very first spot that we kind of fish making our way back to the car and see if we can get out one more fish before we get on out of here Ooh. That's gonna do it for us today, anglers here at Lake Mojave. Uh, couldn't get the striper that I wanted to complete the trifecta, but still managed to get on two bass out here. One large mouth, which is a pretty good size, and one small mouth as well. So pretty good outing. Could have got on four fish in total today, but missed two, but still managed to get on two to end the day. And what a day it was. Had a blast out here and might come back here next week again. Might explore a little bit on the other side didn't have too much luck trying to explore the other side that I was trying to find. Just too much shrubbery out there, but it looks like some fantastic coves. So we have a kayak boat. Uh, I'm sure you all probably already know more than I do, but there are some fantastic coves out here at Lake Mojave. But if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It'll help the channel out tremendously. And uh, we'll catch y'all on the next adventure. Peace.